So in Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 7, the Bible says something. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own what? Understanding. Understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will give you the desires of what? Your heart. It will give you the desires of your heart. You know, you see this scripture is a major problem in the body of Christ. Especially for us who are singles. You know, look at what the scripture is saying. He said, you know, some of you are saying, Pastor, you don't understand. I'll be waiting. I'll be believing God for the right partner. The right partner has not come. The truth is that you have actually not waited. From this scripture, the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm. Do you know what all your heart means? All your heart means that your body, soul, and spirit is in alignment. Because we are talking about unity and agreement. Your spirit says, marry dama. Your body, your body is your flesh. He said that he doesn't have a car. All your heart. All your heart. That is why you have not found God. Because you don't want to trust God with all your heart. Hmm. When my wife gave me a yes, I went to go and cry. Do you know why I cried? <laughs> you don't know why I cried? I did not know I was going to marry her. I didn't have money. I just came. I'm going to marry you. In one year time, I'll marry you. I thought she would not give me a year. She just said, yes. I said, eh? <laughs> ah, how am I going to marry this girl? I didn't have a house. I didn't have anything. She gave, she's giving me a yes. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. This thing is not calculation. It's not permutation. If she had moved based on permutation, she will miss it. Mm -hmm. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. If God say go, go. Don't look back. True. It's true. If God say do it, do it. Don't look back. People may talk. People may not believe it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. He said what? Lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. Your understanding, social media understanding has messed you up. Social media has taught you who the ideal man is, who the ideal woman is. Mm. Social media has told you that the ideal woman must have front and have back. They painted, they painted dirty for us imaginations that are ungodly. Mm. It becomes a standard for you. It becomes your understanding. Scripture, God is no longer your understanding. He said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Mm. I'm telling you. Am I saying physicality is bad? No. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good that you must be attracted to the person you want to get married to. But you see, let it be that this thing is better from God. I'm telling you. Because at the time, you can say, oh, me, I want to marry Miss, Miss Nairobi. If the lady is not Miss Nairobi, I'm not going to get married to the person. You get married to Miss Nairobi. Two weeks into that marriage, acid will fall on her face. When acid fall on her face, will you still love her? Because at the time you married her, you married her because she was Miss Nairobi. Now you're in marriage, acid has fallen on her face. She's no longer Miss Nairobi. She's not Miss Acid. <laughs> How are you going to cope now with Miss Acid? Because you married because of beauty. You married because you were working based on your understanding. I'm telling you. Sure. There's an error now amongst our singles. They'll tell you that, you see, before I get married, I need to check the guy if he can perform. Is that the English they use here? We need to test him. We need to, we need to check if we can give birth. If we can, if he's a... What do you say in, how do you say it in Nairobi? Sexually now? active. Yes, yeah, sexually active. We need to, okay, they, they don't test here in Nairobi. Is it only in Nigeria? They, why are they looking, look at the way they are looking at me like, who is this pastor? Like, oh, okay, we are the only ones that are spoiled. Yeah? They're not involved in primary tests. <laughs> you know, you want to test, you want to check, you break, you break the instructions God has told you mm -hmm. that a marriage bed should not be defiled. Because human calculation has told you, you need to test. You need to check it, you need to check. If you are sexually compatible, these are instructions from the pit of hell. Mm -hmm. It is a human understanding. Mm -hmm. It is a human understanding. Mm -hmm. If you leave, that's why you can't find God. See, there are a lot of divorces now in the church like it is in the world. Mm. Why? Because we have church people who don't know God. Mm. 
who don't know God. Sure. Who don't know God. Church people don't know God. Why? Because we lean on our own understanding. understanding. You want to help God. Let's test it. Let's check it. Let's see if you can give me a boy. Let's see if you can give me a girl before I can consider marrying you. Then you go ahead. You realize that you are still struggling. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you are leaning on your own understanding. understanding. 